good afternoon to all my name is umesh agrawal and i am presenting industrial and laboratory furnaces that we are manufacturing here at tamson before we start let me introduce about what we are doing here at tamson and who we are so tamson deals in the following business first one is temperature sensors and the overall revenue is more than 60% Uh, second one is cables and the revenue is 29% and third one is heating solution in this we create all types of heater and uh, all type of furnaces and the revenue is 11% over the globe we have a uh, total 6 600 employees and uh, 41 million us dollar sales we have Uh, 6500 satisfied customer all around the globe and we have more than 40 year of experience we are uh, selling our products in 75 countries and we have our plant at three global locations uh, recently we have applied nine patents and we got three patents approved and year of year growth is more than 30% our plants in india are first one is temperature sensor plants heater second one is heater and pyrometers plant third one is thermowells and furnace plant fourth one is conductor cable and mi cable plant and fifth one is pvc cable plant uh, we have two plants in one is in germany and second one is in indonesia the plant in germany was established in 2012 and plant in indonesia was established in 2017 we have uh, the following key products in temperature sensors area the key products are uh, thermocouple rtd thermowells pressure and temperature gauge temperature calibrator cables remote temperature monitoring and controlling device and uh, pyrometers etc uh, in cable we have all types of cable like uh, telecommunication cables and uh, high power and uh, heating cables in heating system we have different types of uh, uh, heaters like uh, silicon rubber heater Uh, mica band heater and the cartridge heater and uh, infrared heater and tubular heaters and uh, different types of cables for heating purpose now our topic is industrial and laboratory furnaces so what are the design aspect when we design a furnace so basically uh, we had to know what kind of heat treatment we required and uh, what the customer intends to do uh, in this Uh, we required the knowledge about uh, how much weight we are going to put in the furnace what will be the volume of the furnace what material we are going to heat in the furnace what will be the shape of the furnace either some customer required a rectangular or some customer required a tubular furnace so the shape of the furnace is the main specification and in physical properties we have to know about what the maximum temperature is required for that type of material what will be the continuous temperature and how much heating speed the customer is required and what will be the cooling speed for that material and uh, what will be the temperature distribution uh, all around the furnace and uh, some customer requires like uh, they need uh, to provide some chemical atmosphere for their uh, material and their chemical uh, for their purposes like uh, some required to inert some argon gas or nitrogen gas for their uh, chemical purpose and uh, this can also be created in the furnace and surrounding how much uh, uh, bigger uh, furnace we required and uh, how much clean environment is required for some delicate uh, applications we required a uh, uh, dust free and uh, completely clean environment so uh, before we go for furnace we have to know all these parameters and then we go for the furnace so these are some questionnaires when some customer uh, uh, reach to us we need uh, he should answer these questions and uh, then we can recommend him uh, what kind of furnace will be suitable for his purpose now in furnace design factor first one is heater second is insulator then temperature measurement then control unit and power supply and then controlled atmosphere or vacuum and outer body so in resistance heating element the basic funda is v equal to i into r and the power loss will be i square r so here this one is a resistance and if we are supplying some current and applying a voltage v then r will be equal to v upon i <coughs> and the power loss will be i square r or we can calculate it by v square by r and r will be rho l upon a what kind of heating element we are using 
basically we have two type of uh, environment like oxidizing environment and non oxidizing environment in this we can use nickel chromium alloy heater for 1150 degree centigrade and with the temperature variation we use different types of uh, heating elements like molybdenum uh, disilicide uh, heating element is used for 1850 degree centigrade uh, if we go for molybdenum then uh, it is 2000 degree centigrade for tungsten it is 3000 degree centigrade and for graphite it is also 3000 degree centigrade these three heaters are non oxidizing heater and the upper one are oxidizing heaters these are some insulating material ceramic fiber boards for uh, temperature range of 1200 to 1850 degree centigrade and we use ceramic uh, bricks and we use microporous for 1000 degree centigrade and aluminum coated microporous boards and we use ceramic fiber uh, blankets for 1200 degree to 1400 degree centigrade for temperature measurement we use thermocouples and we have various range of thermocouples like n type of thermocouple is used for 1200 degree centigrade if we go for k type and for higher temperature we can go for b type and uh, r type thermocouples here power supply and controller so basically first of all we get three phase supply to the thyristor and the thyristor will command to the transformer to uh, provide the output and according that the transformer is connected to the heater if thyristor is providing less command to the transformer then heater will get less supply and accordingly they will heat up and uh, the thermocouple will provide the uh, signal to the controller and from controller again we will controlling the thyristor so if we go for 50% then it means 5 volt will be uh, transmitted to the thyristor and if we go for uh, 100% then it means 10 volt is uh, going to the thyristor this is basically signal voltage what we are providing to thyristor accordingly that thyristor will uh, provide signal to the transformer now in controlled atmosphere we have three types of atmosphere oxidizing atmosphere neutral atmosphere and reducing atmosphere here in this <coughs> we can see that in oxidation if material is uh, oxidized then it will create in metal oxide so in this environment we are providing air which contains 79% nitrogen 20% oxygen 1% argon and water and carbon dioxide so in this reaction the metal will get oxidized and it will create metal oxide when no reaction will happen in this case argon gas can be purged nitrogen gas can be purged and helium gas can be purged so these three gases will create no reaction so metal will again remains in the same state and in reducing uh, we have two types of uh, equation uh, we have two types of reaction vaporization and reduction so in vaporization met, uh, oxides are vaporized from the metal oxide and it, it will get convert into metal and in reduction reaction metal oxide will be treated with hydrogen and it will converted into metal and water so these gases can be purged for the vaporization and reduction uh, reaction so now how we calculate the wattage required for the high temperature furnaces here this graph clearly depicts the how we can calculate the wattage for our furnace that if we wants to uh, make our furnace from 1700 degree centigrade then how much wattage we required so basically we need to know about what is the volume of that chamber so if the chamber volume is known then we can create then we can create the how much wattage is required so here the, this area is showing the chamber volume so if we know the chamber volume then from this graph we can calculate that for 1700 degree centigrade what will be the our wattage calculation calculation of power required so basically in a furnace three parameters are required first one is how much power the material will absorb how much second is how much power the container will absorb and how much heat loss will be occurs so the heating up kilowatt will be uh, summation of all these three ratings uh, divided by 2 
and uh, the operating kilowatt will be equal to the power absorbed by the workpiece and uh, the power loss from the equipment now what is a b and c and how we will calculate these uh, these are like first one is power absorbed by the material it is given by weight of material that will be heated per hour specific heat of the material and temperature rise then divided by 3600 seconds similarly power absorbed by the container will be weight of container heated per hour then specific heat of the container and temperature rise divided by the 3600 seconds and the heat loss will be outer surface area of the container multiplied by loss factor at final temperature now we have these types of uh, laboratory furnace first one is standard muffle furnace second one is high temperature furnace uh, third one is tubular furnace in tubular furnace we have various categories like standard tubular furnace three zone tubular furnace and split tube furnace next is bottom loading furnace and uh, presently we are uh, going in a new category microwave sintering furnace and dental furnace this one is muffle furnace standard muffle furnace now in muffle furnace we have four uh, models first one is mf 112 second one is mf 312 third one is mf 412 and uh, last one is mf 512 all these models have uh, different temperature range like 1200 degree centigrade uh, and their power rating is different and their volume is different as we increase the power rating their volume will increase and uh, they all are occupying n type of thermocouple and the kenthal a1 type of uh, heater heating element and their temperature range is 900 degree centigrade to 1200 degree centigrade next is high temperature laboratory furnaces these are standard high temperature laboratory furnaces and in, in this we have 1400 1600 and 1800 degree furnaces so basically these are htf 1400 htf 1600 and htf 1800 degree centigrade we are using r type b type and b type thermocouple if we go for 1400 then r type thermocouple and for 1600 and 1800 degree centigrade b type thermocouple will be used and the heating element is silicon carbide and moisi2 heater these are standard tubular furnaces in these tubular furnaces we have temperature range of maximum 1700 degree centigrade we have 1200 degree centigrade to 1700 degree centigrade temperature range and we will use for 1200 degree centigrade we we are using kenthal a1 type of heating element for 1400 degree centigrade we are using silicon carbide and above that we are using moisi2 type of heater this one is tubular furnace of three zone in this Uh, the temperature range can be customized customized as per the customer requirement and uh, volume of the chamber can also be customized and we are providing pid based programmable controller and the heat zone will be 250 mm here the application can be like aging annealing braising calcination chemical vapor deposition degreasing drying hardening all these application can be uh, successfully done in this type of furnaces now this one is split tube furnace presently we are having 1200 degree centigrade split tube furnace and uh, this uh, split tube furnace has single zone and uh, this is iso and ce certified laboratory and industrial furnace so basically in this we are using kenthal a1 type of heater and uh, we are providing basically electronic and automatic uh, control in this uh, type of uh, furnace and uh, temperature sensing through k type thermocouple this uh, thermocouple is also nabl certified and uh, for the uh, protection we are providing a thermal uh, we are providing a protection switch that uh, if the furnace is open then uh, all the heater will uh, be cut out this one is your bottom loading furnace in this furnace the base will go upside and uh, in this bottom loading furnace also we have various temperature range like 1200 degree centigrade 1500 degree centigrade and 1800 degree centigrade again in 1200 we are using kenthal a1 for 1500 we are using sic silicon carbide and for 1800 we are using moisi2 heater the application can be 
calcination, firing and sintering oxide ceramic parts, cement and glass industries. Microwave sintering furnace. Uh, presently, we are uh, we have a prototype of 1200 degrees centigrade, and uh, in next year we will cover the complete range like 1400, 1600, and 1800 degrees centigrade for microwave furnace. Basically, in microwave furnace, we can increase the temperature from zero degree to 25 degrees centigrade in step, and uh, the temperature achievable time will be very less, like uh, in this 1200 degree model, uh, the working temperature is 1100 degree and this 1100 degree centigrade temperature is achievable in 30 minutes approximately. This microwave furnace is uh, used for scientific ex experiments, sintering, assaying, melting, calcination in laboratories. Dental furnace mainly used for the sintering of uh, zirconia and dental ceramic operations. We have this uh, dental furnace of 1100 degrees centigrade this is also bottom loading time furnaces and the main advantage is that we are providing this furnace with plc and hmi control so you have no need to worry about uh, any switch and uh, any other equipment only hmi can control each and everything now in industrial furnace we have wide variety of uh, furnaces like box furnace chamber furnace electric conveyor mass belt furnace uh, bogey furnace, annealing furnace, sintering furnace, and electric ovens. So this one is high temperature air furnace. This furnace is for 1750 degree and the working temperature will be 1700 degree centigrade. Up to 1000 degree, uh, 10 degree per minute will be the rise rate. And uh, after that, from 1000 to 1700 degree centigrade, the temperature rise will be 5 to 10 deg degree centigrade per minute. The dimension is very high, like uh, internal dimensions are 1600, uh, 125000 and 125000 in mm. So this furnace is very huge furnace that uh, we are making. Uh, it will have three phase power and the power rating is 360 kilowatt. And the charge weight will be 250 kg. So this furnace is such a huge furnace that we are making. Now we have, we have a box furnace or chamber furnace. This uh, chamber furnace have maximum temperature range for, uh, for 500 degree centigrade to 1300 degree centigrade. It can customize as, as per the customer requirement and chamber can be designed according to customer requirement. And the application area can be annealing, hardening, billet heating, die heating, uh, module and core heating, tampering. All these applications can be successfully done in this furnace. Now chamber furnace, this chamber furnace that we have made is uh, operating for 1700 degree centigrade and MOSI2 heating element are uh, inserted in this furnace. So this application area can be glass melting, high temperature testing of ceramics, fusion and firing process, power metallurgy processes, all these can be done in this 1700 degree high temperature furnace. This is one is electric conveyor mesh belt furnace. This furnace can be used this have a large uh, heating zone and conveyor belt for continuously rotate, rotating uh, environment for the large quantity of goods. So this can be used for handling of fire tube etc. under protective atmosphere. Bogey furnace, this one is the bogey furnace for 1200 degrees centigrade and here we are ha having a rail mechanism so this can be moved uh, backward and forward for <coughs> application application area of this bogey furnace are annealing hardening tempering heat treatment and preheating uh, this one is your wire annealing furnace this wire annealing furnace can be uh, used for the annealing of, of wires and <coughs> This uh, wire annealing furnace is uh, having four zones of heating, 1200 mm, 50 mm, and uh, 4000 mm of length. So basically, wire and uh, pipe can be of different dimensions, four pipes of 25 mm diameter can be annealed in this uh, furnace. And uh, feeding zone and cooling zone can be customized as per the customer's requirement and the maximum temperature is 1100 degrees centigrade. As this furnace is for 1100 degree centigrade, so we are using Kenthal A1 type of heater. This is again tube annealing furnace. 
uh, in which we are having pipe heating zone and uh, annealing pipe dimension is 50 mm diameter again temperature is 1100 degree centigrade and the provision for gas purging is also available in this furnace this one is ceramic sintering furnace and the maximum temperature range is 1750 degree centigrade and the heating element will be MOSI2 again it is required three phase supply and 50 hertz this is also having bottom loading type of arrangement application area will be melting of high purity glass ceramic sintering and firing thermal soft testing firing in maintained atmosphere etc all these will be the application area of this type of furnace now we have wide range of electric ovens uh, like we can have a capacity from 4 liter to 14,000 liters and temperature range can be 500 degree centigrade vacuum furnace for gold and mercury uh, evaporation basically this furnace is used for the uh, evacuation of mercury from the gold by melting the gold in this furnace basically uh, the application will be heat treatment of alloys, debinding, carburizing, brazing, gold annealing of this, uh, all these uh, materials. Basically, uh, this furnace is used for the purity, uh, purification of gold. The inner chamber will be SS and outer chamber will be uh, of MS. Now, this is high temperature test facility with the UTM. This is uh, universal testing machine and basically it is heated up to 2500 degree centigrade inside the chamber and the heating is uh, through the radiation and basically graphite heaters are used in this furnace basically this is completely closed loop the temperature control using plc scada and pid controller vacuum uh, can also be created in this furnace next is volatile matter furnace this furnace <coughs> can be used for 100 deg uh, 1000 degree centigrade and the continuous operating temperature range is for 20 minutes so basically the furnace is designed for determining the volatile matter of coal samples and the inner dimension is 50 by 100 mm this is basically glow box furnace for nuclear application this furnace is put inside the glow box and uh, the heating elements are inserted in this uh, furnace for nuclear application and the uh, furnace operating temperature range is 1700 degree centigrade with MO uh, element, MO type of heating element and the uh, gas purging is done in this furnace for 93% nitrogen and 7% hydrogen. These are some spe special furnaces that we have uh, done here at Tensions. Hot air on with PLC control, chamber furnace, uh, 800 degree with vertical door. These are chamber furnace, 700 degree centigrade, bottom loading furnace, 1200 degree centigrade with vacuum and or gas purging, and oven with vertical door, lifting arrangement, and uh, vermiculite processing furnace, high temperature vacuum furnace with chiller and vacuum system. 